I am an optimist by nature. I've been privileged enough to take care of many patients with glioblastoma. And one thing I've learned is it's not the same disease. In some patients, the disease can be quite aggressive. And in other patients, I've had long-term survivors. Glioblastomas are typically treated with a combination of radiation and some form of chemotherapy. My job here is to make sure that you have all that you need to be one of those long-term survivors. I understand what you're going through and we will navigate this together. People present with symptoms such as seizures or uh, they could have some sort of neurologic symptom like problems with their speech. Patients really then come to the team to figure out what to do next. The best way is to approach this from the angle of, well, we have a challenge, but if we work together and we try to do things perhaps differently, there is a hope that we will achieve better results. Patients' cases are discussed in a multidisciplinary fashion. We can take, for example, the pathology report, the images, what we find in surgery, and really come up with a tailored plan for our patients. These are really exciting times. Our science is advancing at an incredible speed. That translates into novel treatments and discoveries that we can apply right away in a clinical trial. Clinical trials are a bridge to hope. It's important that the patients are in a place that has a lot of expertise and feel confident and reassured, knowing that they get not only the right care, but access to cutting edge technologies and therapies that are out there. The lights are on 24 seven here, so whenever they need us, they can reach out to us. What is unique about our process is that you get a live person, so you don't have to go through different lines for a phone tree. We want them to be sure and confident in who they are seeing for their treatment. Patients should have hope. I believe that hope could influence the journeys for a patient uh, in a very positive way.